never not a dose! Let's uh, give Paddy a try. I've seen some really good Paddies around. Oh, jeez. Well, something's changed over here. Um, the hello? Looks like Firestone had some update. Okay, something like that. Interesting. Impact. What's this? It seems seems to be a, there was a huge uh, update. What's impact? I think it has something to do with score. So if I look at the um, uh, version for Firestone. He added some really huge updates over the weekend, some things I was talking to him about. So he added overall deck score, which might be what the impact is, right? He added deck win rate and mulligan win rate. I know some people were saying drawn win rate maybe is not always accurate. He added deck win rate and mulligan win rate. He also added high win runs, so if you go to the arena tab in Firestone, you can now go search high win runs. Anyone that gets a 10 plus win run, you can actually see their deck list, you can see some details about what they did, just to kind of help you see what high win runs are doing for all the different classes, for example, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so some huge, 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 huge updates to Arena there, it seems, um, which is pretty awesome. So we can minimize that again. Uh, I think we try Nomelia, what do you guys think? Best class for Kazakhstan? Maybe. Hey Marwin. Hey Cheese. Hey Bambino. Anton. Mergle McGurgle is all right, but I liked Nomelia last time I tried Nomelia. Kazakhstan fun? I feel like Kazakhstan is just so last meta now, you know? I think Kazakhstan's also fine to be honest. I'm gonna try Nomi. I think the legendaries. I think as a pally, I wanna kill them before I get to the cold Kazakhstan era. I want max aggression like every turn. So I'm gonna try Nomelia. Funk bin. Hand of a doll. Oh, this is it. The drawn impact is the difference between the card drawn win rate. And the class win rate. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's what it is. Impact is the difference between the card drawn win rate and the class win rate. So minus, it means they're below the class win rate. Interesting. I made it into Hearthstone plays as well. Keep making it into all the videos, maybe. No, I didn't see. <laughs> I did not see. I did not see. How important do you think... Uh, I, I haven't played Pally, guys, so I kind of need some, some of your help. Is Librem important in Pally, or do you go Divine Shields, do you go buffs? What do you think? You have to good start, 0-2? Oh, Lord Ivanovich. Take a breather. Come back when... Uh, it's going to be a little easier, or whatever. And the solid... Buffs. Oh, that was a good one, maybe. Let's try, yeah. Uh, hand is really good. Just pick multiple Tigress plushies. Yeah, if I get them off, I'd for sure. Let's try hand. We hope so, Texas Gamer. Thank you so very much for the 10 months resub. 
Much appreciated. Jury duty feels middling. I'm gonna try Aldor. We'll get some Librams, I feel. War Sun Grunt. Scarab Keychain's fine. Argent Protector is fine. Both of these are fine. I think I'm fine taking the Argent here, though. This has some high roll potential, but what I really want is all the buffers. Warhorse Trainer over these, I guess. Ogre Gang over these. This is not what a pally is meant to look like, right, guys? Okay. Hello, hubby. Oh, that's maybe true because of buffs, huh, Major? Thank you. Good call. What do you think about Crafter, Zora? Yeah, can I get some uh, buffs, Devitor, right? Oh, that's really strong. Give it a try. Doesn't feel like really strong to me, but it feels strong. Take a brass swing. Greedy partner. Yeah, that's what I think of Anovich, but I, I think it's still an alright pick. Thank you, Kenny. Good luck. I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't seen it bugged yet. I won mid game. I feel like I want to help my early game more though. Yeah, I'm going greedy partner. Help that coin. Help me roll through. Line dance. Cool goal over these. Palladosaur? Where's uh where's all my buffs, guys? Am I not meant to have a bunch of buffs and uh Tigress plushies and banana men and uh grind streets and uh the the painter's brush? Like is is that not what all the paladins are? What about keepers versus judge here? Yeah, this is my first Pally Ivanovich, but the Pallys I've faced have all had them. Hiya, Zep. <laughs> These ain't bad, can they? I don't even know if it's Judge Unworthy here. Did you see Ivanovich, by the way, Firestone implemented uh, deck win rate and mulligan win rate? I'm almost tempted to take Keeper, but I feel like Judge is quite important. Also, let's take one Judge. One Cons. Just, uh, I saw it today. It wasn't there yesterday, Ivanovich. In Firestone, they impl he implemented this impact, which instead of the exact win rate, is the difference between the win rate and the class win rate. Um, uh, he implemented deck win rate, uh, mulligan win rate, and left the drawn win rate there. And he implemented high win runs. So you can actually, there's a new tab now where you can see people's high win runs. Anything that's 10 plus. You can actually see their runs like he used to have for duels. I uh, I had asked him if he can implement that for Arena, just based on the fact that he already had the technology for duels. So it's really nice to see it come through as well. You ever take Red Scale over Cool Ghoul? I kind of want another two. I feel like I want another two, and it draws me Brass Wing. If I haven't drawn it, which is pretty sad. I like Cool Ghoul as well, though. A lot. I'm gonna take the two. Bronze Explorer. Something I can draw from the thing anyway, right? Duster here. Tigress Plushy. Right, these are so good, but look at the win rate, dude. Cool Ghoul now. Shard or Nether Spite? How's life been? 
been uh, struggling a bit, to be honest with you, this last month, Zep. But, uh, we're alright, man. Just keep reminding myself I'm, I'm alright, yeah? dragons is not enough. The Revenant Bronze Explorer is a discover though and uh, Red Scale draws me a dragon. My, the freeze might just be a better line. Mooncatchers. Ooh, faceless actually. Let's go faceless. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Ghost Rider, but... This is what happened to me last time. This is what happened to me. I think Ivanovich was you. You were telling me why Ghost Rider. It's just... Sure, it's weaker, but geez louise, you know? Ugh. What about this one? Found a $400 Yu-Gi-Oh card in your childhood collection? Ooh. That's awesome, Zeb. Good luck. I went to the stream, I was a little anxious. I think you're just okay now. Heart's still lagging with OBS. I'll, uh, let me be honest with you, Ivanovich. Um. Streaming is, uh. There's always some technical issue. It's just that there's so many things that need to be happening at the same time, technically, on the PC. That something happens, like, almost all the time. Like, today, me, I'm like three years into streaming also, almost. My heart still wouldn't connect to my OBS, so I had to restart. And then, my heart still wouldn't open. And then my Battle.net logged me out. And some of them don't have to do with streaming, right? Some of them just have to do with Hearthstone. But they all impact streaming. It just seems like, when you want everything to work perfectly, it's you notice them more. It's not that they don't happen to anyone else, right? It's just that if you're playing Hearthstone and Hearthstone decides to take 20 seconds to load up and then you close and reopen it, you don't think twice about it, but if you're streaming, you think five times about it. You know what I mean? Feels like a, a thing. You know, they're Arjun. Howdy, probably not. A giant mooncatcher could be all right. You know what this deck needs? A little draw. The hell is this card? The filters will use a little more CPU. Maybe try... Every time I add something new... Um, like for example when I did the whole YouTube recording thing... I add a bunch of stuff, realize I have issues, and then start dialing back until I find the sweet spot. That's why it's all a process. You know? It, it's a process. It's a process. I think we still try Daring Drake. This card... You think it's the Nuts, really, Major? I only have three cards, though, right? It's great for the plushie. No. Hello, Pirate Fan! I'll take a Skyrim keychain, try and high roll that. To lay the sword. At least we have Painter's Virtue, right? Okay, 12 win in bound. 12 win in bound. Let's go for it. Hello, Nilo. Bang them bongos. Easy 12. I will say this does not look like the pallies I faced at uh, 10 plus. This looks more like the pallies I faced at 4-2. Uh, Have you tried heart? I did actually try heart in my mage last time. Probably not. Um, I feel like it was uh, overhyped to me. Happy Monday night, eyes. 
The stake is lacking draw, I think. Mainly. Ah, uh, we'll see. Might try like a 2 coin 4, start buffing the divine shields. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Probably still do this. this what I felt about Hearth. Um, what I felt about Hearth is that it doesn't bring you back from behind. Like, there's 13 hands in Hearth, right? I would say 11 of them don't bring you back from behind. Reporting for duty. And uh, some of them are just plain bad. Some of them are just plain bad. Right, so you have to play it when you're on an even board slash ahead. And some of them I just play mad, like I got the druid one last time. And uh It sucked. Hello Infinite Tsukiyomi, welcome to the channel. I currently use Firestone. I've used Arena Tracker as a draft helper before I've used Hearthstone Deck Tracker as a deck tracker. And now I use Firestone as a deck tracker in the draft overlay. The Paladin one's bad, the Paladin's one's way better than the Druid one. Um, if you want links to any of those three, Tsukiyomi, if you exclamation mark tracker in chat, it will link you to all the three that I mentioned. I think they're all great tools that you can find out which one is good for you. Where's the druid one? Um, Twig, Togwoggle, Azalina, Naturalize, Major. It's Mill, Swap, Deck, Druid. out but it's off curve right now hi panda So Firestone, Arena Tracker, Deck Tracker, they're all the ones I mentioned. Hello, sexy name. I like your name. Sexy. This weapon guarantees you seven. Whatever you face three pallies with this weapon immediately, Mago. How does that work? That's what I'm thinking about Halvanovich. Do I ogre first? Or do I swing and kill off the 2-2? Two -two? Could I also try swing hit fossilized? Or swing fossilized? I kind of think I want to do this. See what happens. Ah, this will draw me a dragon, and I follow up. Don't have to imagine statistically you will. <laughs> hey, that's true, Mango. But I'm um, facing a pally. Like, I think they have one. It's just in their deck, right? See what this gives us. Rock. Is it worth rocking this? I, I'm gonna say no. When does expansion drop? Uh, tomorrow, tennis. 10 a.m. PST always. Tomorrow, 19th March. So we're talking probably about 28 hours from now, roughly. That's another card I'm missing, though. I don't have no biggins. I mean, you're just stalling, mate. Like, really? Really? Just really? For duty. 
Yeah, tomorrow, Theo. Despite them playing 7D checkers. Yeah, but against himself, though. I'm the one playing chess on the side in the game that he's lost. <laughs> yeah, nothing much will change for Arena, though, guys. Oh, Shroomscavate. That's another card I'm missing. Yeah, well, most decks miss most cards, so. All this watch, no. No, 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 no. Arena, the arena rotation happened a week early. The expansion doesn't change it. The expansion will just add Whizbang's workshops into the discover pool. It doesn't change the rotation. We have this rotation till the mini set now, right? Evening, Pedge! But yeah, we will get the core set rotation. Um, and Whizbang's workshop will be in the generation pool, be it discover or random generation. So they will get slightly better. The core will also be in the generation pool. The core rotation. Alright, um, let's go for two. Lazy Azoski. Yeah, I cut my hair yesterday, Theo. No, that's not right. I uh, don't usually like it so much the first like few days after I cut it. Because I like it growing out a little. You try to give it some like definition, but Um, needs to grow out a little bit. I try to give it like little spiky edges and stuff like that just to look like it grew out a little bit, but uh, I usually takes like two, three days of growing out to be like fully proper. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Wow. Who told me Cool Ghoul was good? Oh, jeez, Theo. I, uh, I learned how to cut my, my own hair, so... That's what I usually stick to. I think I daring Drake Hygen this. Imagine your 5-drop dying to their 5-drop, which gives them a treasure. <laughs> I guess we do this. I don't want to... I, I could con Smoon Catcher, but... I wish I could have Faceless done this. But sorry, right, we have Faceless set up. Um, uh, when I was young, I tried cutting my hair a few times, Theo, and... I remember effing it up, but when uh, barbers close for COVID, I end up leaving my head grow a little bit too long. I got really annoyed. The barbers were all shut down, so I, I decided to try to cut my hair whilst I was working at home. And I just kind of kept doing it. Cut 
Apparently, six O Shaman Rudgill really overperforming. Rudgill used to be so OP. I think it is still a really good card. How you cut backside? It's very hard for you. But I think I do a good job. I have a small hand mirror, and I do like double mirroring. Um, before I used to get my ex to do the back. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I guess we can lay this or. Yeah, I use my left hand as well. Yeah, I use my left hand as well. Although, uh, I know what you're talking about, and that's not what I'm talking about. I don't, Zusky. I tell myself, I, I look into the mirror, Zusky, I go, I'm sorry, Barber! I can't afford it! And I, I, I rope I go, it's okay, Dos. You don't have to pay today. And I walk out of the bathroom. <laughs> Does a new update of Firespawn show the opponent's high score player face? No, so the, the, the high score thing, Marwin, there's a new tab in Firestone where you can see other people's high win runs. Not whilst they're still playing, when it's finished. If they just hit... Okay. I could plushy this. I don't feel like it's a brass wing tearing because I want this out. Mm. Do you think draw is more important than Ysera? No way, right? Yeah, draws five. Well, I would argue that half the Asair cards are worse than my deck, though, but yeah. Cutting my hair, Lyrus. Tell my barber my wife has been cutting my hair during the pandemic. The response was, I can tell they are no longer my barber. Because of you or because your wife said no longer? <laughs> well, I'm gonna lose to this, huh? How the Headless Horseman DK, it felt underwhelming, the average on is pretty bad. 22 miles, very slow tempo, right? Yeah, but you're still dealing three of an of it, right? So maybe the issue is that you're baiting yourself into this cover, right? It's, it's a hero power. Oh, look. It's a rainbow DK with Headless Horseman and uh, everything else. One, two, three. So I coin and play this. Time may pass, but you are a coin coming in useful, huh? That's the second time I've legitimately used um, uh, going to 11 mana. The dealing through itself is very slow. Really? It's such a good hero power. No? Such a good hero power. Okay, is this like full removal DK? Well, what's going on here? You can go to infinite man, I yeah, asked gold. Yeah, I could have gone to 12 as well, but coining again was useless. I'm not gonna waste it, right? Um, but in my first run of the meta, I had an 11 damage forbidden fruit lethal with a coin. That was interesting. Yeah, there's some crazy wild combo. Apparently, it's. I don't think it's capped, Kenny. 
didn't know you can burn so many cards because of this. Uh, it's new, Rondars. So it came out only with this last patch. Less, less than a week ago. For what that's worth. Mm. I could brass swing. And trade. I can also judge unworthy and trade here. Let's me push three. I think that's fine. Stops their healing as well. To battle. <laughs> um, there's a combo in Wild Candy. So there was a deck. There's a Druid deck, which is some. Uh, you remember there's a card. It's called like it's called like Flubbiness, Bloopiness, Bloopiness, Gloop, or something like that, which is like uh, a legendary, and it says gain. Gain like one or two mana every time a, a, a minion dies or something like that. And uh, I, I've seen clips of uh, I've seen clips of someone go up to like seventy five mana with it. <laughs> it used to be capped at ten, so now it's like you know what I'm talking about, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Flubbiness, bloop, and bleeping up. <laughs> Flubbiness, floopers. It's not that, but that one's closer. Floops, glorious gloop. That's the one. Thank you, Mark. Close. We were all quite close. No, I, I I would say it is close. I could brass swing and freeze this two four. Seems acceptable. Just keep pushing. Remember that we have uh, a nice surprise six damage from hand. Bloop funkerous boob, boob. Those boobs have to do with it. Alright, here we go. Honestly, if they're spending six mana there, I'm, I'm alright. So now what? They still have an Ellie. Ellie? Well, that's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. We're getting close. Arthur's Gift. Hmm, Howling Blast Face. Okay. Uh, Nightmare's 4. I think the uh, the changes in Darken are to the uh, other cards, to the other Ysera cards. Good boy. You are a worthy Is it worth a consecrate? Is now the question. I think it might be. Oh no, sleep it as well. There's my dream. That's surely my dream. I mean, nightmare face. So let's say I dreams they're always a lethal here. Dream, I'm sure there is. You just play this, right? You are a worthy foe. Did you see? I lost to it, Kenny. I was playing a mage. I was playing a mage, Kenny. And uh, they were almost dead. And then they cast it. It was like, I don't know, dealt like 15 damage to my face, healed them for 15, and summoned 7 6-10s. Like, it was such a huge swing and then they kept BMing me and like missing lethal on purpose. Uther versus Illidan. This ends now. Build you up and knock you down. 
Do you keep cons versus a, a DH? I feel like the early game is quite strong versus uh, vanguards basically, but I have better cards also, so maybe I just keep these two. Even this is great. Like, this is such a good comeback piece. I think I chuck him in uh, lieu of like Painter's Virtue and maybe some other strong early cards. Yeah. I, I tried to stay in it. I, I, I was playing uh, the Orb Mage. That's what I was playing. My orb was just not even close to being enough. Interesting. How greedy should I be with this? <laughs> Interesting, Mark. Because I was going to coin threes, but... What if I just shard their face and then coin Painter's Virtue? That way I don't have to coin my threes. I think the shard is a better job than the Argent here. Okay. I uh, personally don't really follow Reddit, but every time someone tells me this and this happened on Reddit, I'm like... Huh? What? Huh? Dude, someone told me like metas ago that people were saying that uh, titans were bad or something. I don't even know. So I want to make sure this dies. Which kind of means I think I should uh, fit in the double trades. Yeah, someone was saying they should pick like a run fact over a titan because titans suck or something like that, Pompey. This is the question. Do you ever pre-hit the 1-3? I feel like I should. Just so they can't hear a power it and I can kill it next turn. It's just that uh, the average person on Reddit, I think, is what, like an average player, right? So just, just listen to me instead, all right? Trust me. Am I the best player in the world? No, but uh, I think I'm all right. I guess I still prefer killing this. I'm listening to you though, some O2, what now? <laughs> Come on, man, you have to at least play the game of Anovich. Taunt is great here for me. Kind of uh, helps a little bit with this. Why well, ogre? Ancient power. I mean, let them draw one more, but this is better for mana, I feel. Hit then divine shield. Hit here. They pre-hit. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so how about we do it this way? Bong. Swing. Do something like that. This is the double three. I swear. So many of my opponents have been saved by hitting this exactly when they need it. It's kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. Ah, well. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like that, that Rhapsody is, was just so strong for them.
the eight drop taunt. Bone guard, is that the one that's best for corp spending? You ever judge unworthy here instead of crafter Zora? Feels worth it. Could take scribe to play it. Waiting until tomorrow to do my quest on the new battle path. I think your quests get reset, Kobold. So maybe someone can compare. Hey, I can. As in, I think you, if you have none, they get refilled. Uh, don't, don't, don't take my word for it, though, please. They're not. Yeah, I don't know. Ignore me then, Kobold. So I saw someone say that. Two mana double taunt? Oh yeah. Four mana clone undead. Oh, that one is. Hey, John Coco, welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it, his mouth is still open. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the thing. Like, I, I'm not gonna read through the, the through the discards, but it says I looked. Climbing the current explosion is higher, but I want to pick the hero card. But if you want to pick the hero card, pick the hero card. Right? No? Yes? I don't know. Four and one next day. I cannot wait to read it. Oh, Sinister Soul Cage. No, no! No, that even ruins my. No! Mother Fudge. I expect a patch this week, Steve. Okay. Damn. Another one of those. Okay, give me something like a brass wing here. An expensive card. I think I play Dragon Tamer first. Or wait, no. I can hero power, right? Never take prismatic lens. No, you just do this, right? Job done. Dude, what was this card? Oh, uh, what was this? Oh, what is Nug? Yeah, I know. My point is it sucks. I'm, I'm gonna lose the game, dude. Wag one, Roldy. I have to kill them in one turn. And my board's gone again. Beautiful.
no, I, I'm dead next turn. I need the damage, right? Technically, it's at least, right? Wait, what? Could have hero powered first. <laughs> Another tower down. Emerald with a huge raid. And we get the win. Emeril, thank you so very much for the raid. Really, really appreciate it. Let's get a shout out to Emeril. Are you excited, Emeril, for the expansion tomorrow? Welcome everyone, Nam, Emeril herself. Shout out to Emeril. Thank you for the huge raid. I hope you had a fun stream. You excited? I'm a little excited too. We've got the new cards early in Arena. But, uh... A little shift happening. Played some arena, got raided by Redbeard. Redbeard's a, a legend as well. Did you enjoy arena? It's always nice to see people trying out arena. That's one of the reasons I super like this week. You always get, you know, people dabbling a little bit into it. It ain't easy, but uh, it, it kind of works. So I want to keep this three. I don't know whether to keep Protector. With Coin, I could look for double threes, and one extra mulligan slot for Painter's Virtue is huge. I'll do this. Oh, you're saving the quest. But you could end up completing the quests in Arena, right? <laughs> hey, there we are. I appreciate it, Emerald. And welcome, everyone. We're playing some Arena ourselves here, trying out some Pally, trying to see how that goes. It was really fun. All right. We've converted you, Emerald. Okay. That's it. We've converted you. Enough said. Um, which am I coining? Plushy? Could coin the Mooncatcher. Straight up. Yeah, like, that's fine. I did cut my hair, fellow, thank you. Um, I'm never really a fan of how it looks the first few days after a haircut, but it feels good. Get your first 12 win, third run, very nice. Yeah, it was almost GG Kobold, it was a tough one. Man, now I'm tempted to plushy. I think I do. Ah, Tice was playing some arena. But no, Emerald is a lovely gal. Do do check out her stream. Usually play some standard and such, but uh, she was trying out some arena, you know. Interesting combo. Really nice find from them. I guess I just Kaleidosaur though, right? It's is it worth Ogre Gang plushy into this? See if it misses it would suck. I think we just have to accept this. Banter was playing some arena as well. That's awesome though. It's great to see people. Meaty was trying some arena. As well. They all get to try out some of the new stuff, right, as well. So that's all big plus. This being a 4-7 is really not good for me. In fact, this is just not good for me at all. Yeah, Tice played a couple times, I think. I can't see a clean line here. 
I could plushy. Like, I could clear, but doesn't feel good enough. Yeah, I could coin Tigris faceless and then kill this off. It all feels kind of bad, though. To be honest with you, I'll go for hold the bridge for some heal. Subdue. Try and get a, something to clean up next day. Can't wait for more cooking lessons. There we go. Shu Xian. I, I was going to say, I think you might have uh, missed the little alert there. It's okay. Chef dose in the house, okay? Thank you very much for the four months, Prime Shu Xian. Really greatly appreciated. Really greatly appreciated. Alright, we need a comeback here. And how's this comeback going to happen? Hmm? How's this comeback going to happen? So let's say I hold the bridge. I hit here. And here? Hmm. What if I know Melia? You know Melia here. Still one off. I could know Melia and Plushy. Still not good enough. What if I hold the bridge here, bonk, subdue? Plushy hit. That's the line. Like this. One. Two. Three. Four. Fun fact, with all the sets here, we can have the absolute worst outcome for a pack the house. Four one ones. You can actually get four one ones. I got two one ones, I think, when I played pack the house. Hey, Zonny. Man, Sunday's always my roughest day. Just, it's the day I do everything else. <laughs> so I always get really tired. So tiring is how it was, but uh, still all right, you know. Still all right. Head. Little boot. Little bump. Little face. Alright, we're actually turning this around. That was a really good turn there. Really glad I picked up the bridge. We're turning this around. My opponent's cluster funked. Warp up, sure. Is there six mana zero attack minion? None that I can think of. Ooh, did he have fun though? You, you play IRL, Yu-Gi-Oh, Sonny! I mean, could honestly tempo brass swing, but I think he's double four. Also, did you show them the dose diff? Surely you showed them the dose diff, right? No, watchboats, watchboats are two, three, four man, I think, Major. And they, they have attack, right? You got top 8? Thanks to the dose diff. <laughs> he actually said the dose diff. <laughs> nice, Sonny. Very nice. Hmm. How am I dealing with this? Word. Let me think. That's awesome, though, Zony. Really. That's a, a sweet weekend. My college basketball team won the ACC tournament for the first time in your life. Very nice, Jason. I don't know the importance of the tourneys, but I'm happy for you because you're happy.
We're almost there. No Melia clears. So do I have lethal? No Melia clears, and I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. One off. I wonder. Oh, no, Mia also hits face, so it's lethal then. Thank you. This is a no losing stream, baby. And you know it. Alright. Let's get ready for five. end soon hey i'll have you know vertas i think once i actually did have a stream where i only lost once and that's because i do three runs minimum yeah there are very few streams where i do two gemstone golem is the closest six drop to zero but has taunt. Oh, because it doesn't attack. Hello, Mr. Khaki BR. You ended up nine uh you ended up number one on the leaderboards, didn't he? Each man cost from one to ten has a one one minion. Danessa. Oh yeah, Lanessa is uh Lanessa's the one inside the hearth inside the hearth thing, right? Hello, Lori. Lovely to see you. Oh, no. I mean, being out of work, I guess, is a plus, but uh, not the reason. Get well soon, Lori. Rest. Hydrate. Get your partner to give you a foot massage if that's your thing. You're lucky I'm thirsty. <laughs> Maybe I should have pre-hit this. I guess I... I guess I could play this first. And then trade here anyway. Get this killed. And then buff the two drop. Go. 
Uh, one D, Pio and Rondars, thank you for the follows. Welcome to this Whizbang Arena stream. Oh good, Vice works from home and has a busy day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, whatever you can then. How's Priest doing Arena? Well, uh, if you're dose, pretty well. A uh, priest isn't in a very good spot, to be honest with you. A uh, priest isn't in a very good spot. Uh, in fact, uh, anything... Uh, hun only Hunter and Demon Hunter are really in a good spot, and then Death Knight's fine. Pally and Shaman are acceptable, everything else sucks. Uh, I only just missed the 12th priest though last week, so hopefully we'll get another chance to. AoE again. Yeah. I don't know how we're getting through this. Like I said, this deck needs a little bit of draw. There's a shampoo priest where you only clear boards. Oh wow. My my priest had no melee actually. Um my 11 win priest. I forgot what MVP in it was. It had a location, I think, which was really good for cycling. I'm yet to draft a mother flippin' wolvy. Litkin God, I thank you for the follow. We are almost there though, right? We're almost there. Technically, Lethal set up. Maybe they concede. Or maybe they have to throw an Inquisitor into this. Letting me get ahead again. Ooh, they're reaching, they're reaching. The question is, do you know Melia here? Hope you don't have two left feet. Ogre lethal. I don't think so. How's Ogre Lethal? So I went on the side because of that dumb uh, combustion esque card. Let's play randomly for the first time, got nine. That's very, very good, Hamso. Yeah, maybe a touch of everything. You played well, maybe the draft for a priest was pretty good. Oh, is this double three? Every, every time! Every time. <laughs> Lovely Lana. Lana, thank you for 69 million months. I appreciate it. Each scar. How are you doing, Lana? Vanquished. Such a beautiful sheen. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. When did they change dino size? I assume now. Did they just top deck the combustion? They did. Mother. Ever. Oh, 
ambitions do I trade? Or do I just dino size smirk? Let me think. Ah, oh, shower. Like cons dino size trade? Or uh, sorry, cons dino size face? Or cons trade to hero power? Dino smirk. Scared of like a silence here. But... Eat something up, Lana, something nice. You off today again or back to work today? I am not blind to your crimes. Work. Uh. Lunch, Ray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just asking because I wasn't sure. Dude, I haven't heard the sound in ages. Ding! Dong! Ding! Dong! Ding! Dong! Let's go, Blazer. The sound of the donger. Did you know that uh, the actual text on the drop down banner is actually called Ding Dong? Saving my weeklies for a whiz bang release. Yeah, but for me to do that, I have to not play, right? Do you know the Trump Ding Dong meme? No, I don't. Is this a keep? And knock you down. I think I risked the keep. Sweet. Might coin threes even, we'll see. It's interesting because I might not want to play plushy, right? Hmm. I'll chop you down. You recommend the ding dong song? I'm tempted to coin threes here. I feel like I do. I think I start with the Mooncatcher. The Lightnons could give them good trades. This is actually really good versus a buff like Hand of Adal. I might have heard it, honestly. A good explorer comes prepared. So now I could plushy and double trade. That's probably a line. I could line dance and let them take the trade. It makes my line dance a dead card for a little bit. I think it's fine though. Small surgery last week, Doctor didn't do a good job. Oh no. That sucks, Mighty Masks. That really sucks, especially because he had to go through it twice. I'm sorry to hear that. A good explorer I really am. That sucks. Rest up, you two. Where are you from? Your accent is cool. Is it? I hate my accent. But, hey, I appreciate it. Um... I live in England now, but I'm originally from Malta, so my accent is just a mishmash. Even being Maltese is a mishmash accent, let alone having moved away and not having a thick Maltese accent. So, I don't have a thick Maltese accent, I moved. It's a, it's a, it's a real mishmash. Get down! Hmm? Get down again! I could Divine Shield double trade. I'm not sure I like that so much though. Let me think. 
It does let me get the dragon tamer out, but... Let them trade. Hmm. I never really had a thick Maltese accent for it us because I spoke a lot of English. Um, I, in my best friend group, we were like five really close friends. Um, two of us spoke, two of them out of my others, spoke a lot of English and three of them spoke a lot of Maltese. So I ended up speaking a lot. I was like... I had three really good friends and two really good friends. I kind of brought the group together. So I used to speak a lot of Maltese in one group and a lot of English in one group. And my English was never as good as the others. And my Maltese was never as good as the others. But I got a lot better at it over time. Um, but that meant my, my accent isn't very thick. Okay, so they decide to go face. And now we stick to this line. It gives me one heal, and then we can do this. Take this one trade, and then just value trade and push three. Coming into the crafter's aura. But yeah, the, the hardest thing for me was to learn how to say thing. Um, because, for example, growing up, every single person, my parents, my friends, everyone in Malta, um, uh, says tree and tree, right? The number and the plant, they're both tree, because nobody can make the th sound. Right, so tree, 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 this, that, there, don't, th that, and learning how to say that three <laughs> is so difficult. Are these two threes too slow? Maybe. Just keep dust there. So, uh, my issue was that in order to learn how to do it, I started to force myself to say three, there, you know what I mean? But what happens to me is, when I'm getting overly conscious about it, I start to use the first sound where I'm not meant to. Like, I, like let's say I want to say there's a, a green tree outside, I end up saying there's a green three outside. I'm like, what, huh? Say what? One through four, one non-minion. Okay. We need to plant three. You mean three trees at three thirty-three? Ooh. Really glad I got the kill there right before they tremsed. Thank you, Zeshel. I'm tempted to go coin double argent. I can also take this trade and play duster though, which I think is better for now. Yeah, the distorted opinion of voices for sure, I agree with Lana. Especially hearing myself like when I'm doing my YouTube editing, it just sounds so weird to me, it doesn't sound the same. I do have a tiny bit of filtering, but still. I think we pop this, and I could go with the Argent Protectors, but I think I'm gonna do this. I can cons Protector next turn. Dude, do you take Prismatic or do you take Shroomscivate? Damn. This is my third Excavate, so if I find another one, it could then be my fourth one. I feel like I wanna... 
fake shroomies. What are these cards? There is a legendary Skazu. Hey, Rafa. What up, Lotheb? Okay, look, it's another buzzard. And another buzzard. Now I wish I took Prismatic. I just said, no way they have yet another one, right? No way. say I like the last meta more than the current state of arena. Not really. I I love the Okay, just uh buzzard six and seven, no worries. I uh yeah, give me a sec here because holy moly. Try to go for the 50 50. This is my responsibility. Damn. This is my responsibility. I just need to push the damage, otherwise, I'm never winning. But yeah, I think it's a little unbalanced to them, so I can totally see that, but. I personally differentiate the state with what they did. I love the pool. I love the fact they did curation. I think it's a great stepping stone for the future of Arena. I think it's unbalanced at the same time. Yeah, I mean, quintuple buzzer, Divanovich. And they actually had six. Um, this just missed one of the buffs. Their buzzards also draw cards. Please, Louise. Yeah, this one damage AO is actually a little annoying because of what I wanted to do. I wanted to force them to double trade. Now they don't, right? They just have to hit here and then one trade. Um, which means I think we'll be just short here, honestly. Um, depends what beast they have. Oh! Seems like a bad trade. That's a 1 mana 1 1, it's called Spawn of Zot, I think. Tentacle of Zot, sorry, it just deals 1 damage to all minions. Another canvasser. Life I didn't even have one. Reporting 
my responsibility. This is my responsibility. Okay. Imagine they didn't heal for nine. Woo. Plus they now have I played four DKs with hero cards. What's happening? Why can I never get this? How many DKs have you played though? Remember, if your average is say six, you're probably facing nine times as many decks as you are. Oh, looks like this was updated as well. Looks like they updated the list. Interesting. I mean, we can. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, thank you for the follow, Val Valdor, by the way. Missed it a little bit ago. I appreciate it. No. Treat yourself to a new one, maybe, Lana. Oh, it works fine anyway. Let them notice it. Do you have uh, video calls with clients? Because that's the thing I would say. Your colleagues, let them. Yeah, they go, oh, nice tape. Go, well, buy me a headset then. And all of a sudden it creates that awkward moment where they don't want to buy you one, so they shut up. Now that's where I would say maybe. Maybe you can make the business expense, Lana. These are solid, but... Okay. Have the painter's virtue, really good with the faceless. I actually don't think it's that OP biohazard. Like, sure, it's good, but... I don't think it's that much of an outlier. Hey, pro shot, welcome. Yeah, move the camera, Alana. <laughs> Probably Bronze Explorer, because it lets me keep more minions in my hand. Uh, coming into the Painter's Virtue. They both die to hero power plus trade in the same way. I actually do have a mech. Yeah, but I've barely been able... I don't think I've even, Mago, had the plushie and the painter's virtue in the same hand yet. For example... Timber. I'll pre-hit. Makes them want to trade here. For how long can you get a 10 year card back? I think, Proshad, the event is almost over. There might be another way to get it, but the event is getting closer to the end. Hmm. That's actually a little annoying. I think I play this and the one. Although this one is grey with the faceless, but... Pumpy. I have no idea, Pro Shot. I know as much as you. Didn't have the weapon while I had multiple plushie and one blessing of authority. Yeah, that's huge. For sure. Mago, but it depends, right? Like, did you face a, a seven buzzard hunter with tremors and uh, taunts and also not draw any of your cards? Like, that can happen at 0 1, zero, 2. Can happen at 11 0, right? But can I not say hi back to you, Pumpy? Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. 
I want to buff the second half because the difference between a 2 2 and a 3 3 is not that much. I want to make sure I keep a mech for this, so for now I'm just playing this, I think. Something like that. Oh, the HyperX ones are quite good. That was one of the ones I was thinking about before I got this. I found this one to be extremely good, but it's uh, expensive. You can drop very as a pattern because of the flashy. But you also have to hit the flashy, right, for example. Uh, the plushie is great, but you, you need support. Just having the plushie without buffs or tutoring or draw, I, I don't think carries you far by itself. Good morning, Pistol P. Would be fun to have the card that tossed your weapon. I think that's a rogue card exclusively. Right? I'm not sure. I think it's a rogue card exclusively. space for everything actually come to think about it I could I guess you know transform the 2 2 into a 9 8 stat wise the rush effect is quite good for me I missed a couple of expansions. Yeah, we also have a really a new one in here as well. I thought I'd play Astelor because I can use this for a 7 battle cry, right? As well. The Lion's cards get you to plushie, which also buffs. Yeah, but like, how does my deck draw, for example, Mago? Well, that would have been very good, Ivanovic. I only got offered Astral Serpent, I think. No, I didn't, actually. No, I didn't get offered it. I got offered one Hammer of Wrath. That's all, Mago. For a draw. Uh, Astral Serpent was one of my Dragon Discoveries, so... Priest is actually my most played class, Hamso. I haven't played. I hadn't played Pali yet. Do you think this is a low roll? I think it's a fine deck, Mago. I don't think it's premium, but I think it's a fine deck. It has some really strong cards, right? I got the Painter's Virtue as well. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. I thought this required a dragon, so yes, order. Um, this first, then this. For some reason, I thought they required each other. So I wanted the Wind Fury over the plus one, plus one, but this needs a mech, which means I still have one. So order for sure, yeah. That's fine. Are they given up here? Or do they have a ping? They have a ping, the order makes a difference, right? How right, we got there? Seven? Seven's good. Getting those levels up. Throwing out them quests. Yeah, I think this is a solid deck, honestly. Oh, you know what? I do actually have this Mago for a draw, the Dragon Tamer, which I picked up specifically because I said my deck needs draw. And I have Hand of a Dull, so I kind of miss those two, but I have those two. I feel like this deck is solid though, right? Double Cool Ghoul, solid threes. I do have a plushie. I have Painter's Virtue, which is a very good card. 
I have solid curve and I have some top end brass wing crafter is right. It also has a few rush cards. I feel like I uh, keep the cool gold against Pali, but nothing else. Infinite. Alright, let's try and get the 12. There we go. I think I coin painter's virtue. Hopefully we pick up a 2 now. No, 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 that's not what they tell me, Bray. <laughs> Good to see you. Happy Monday, dude. Still killing it in the arenas. There's a three. Might have to hear a power. So man, this morning I took so long to do everything. Yesterday, so I have, I have the scissors I used to cut my hair. I think I want to coin painters very true. It's greedy, but I think I want to do it. Um, and as I was cleaning my scissors, I usually just wipe it with my fingers like this. I must have slid my fingers in an awkward position because it, it literally sliced down my thumb. It doesn't even look like a cut, but it is. I mean, obviously. Um, and I, I can't... I can't use my thumb for any sort of form of pressure because it really hurts. I just have like a slice down the flesh sort of thing. It's way deeper than I anticipated as well. But it doesn't show because it's downwards. Yeah, I must have just like slid it. I always clean my scissors like that. I must have just slid it at this like perfect position or something. I don't know. So I could cool ghoul. I think I still do. Let them. And like this morning I, I realized I can't cook well, I can't brush my teeth well. I can't even use the mouse well because I can't rest it on the side of the mouse. B Makar Baranov Dolo, thank you for the follow. Mm, this gives them the full clear. It's okay though, it costs part of their turn, right? A little annoying, but if I went with the Duster Aldor, they still end up doing the same thing. There's so many buffs. I have a no Melia though. I mean, I could almost just use Faceless as is. I think we just stick to this though. Yeah, no, I realized immediately, I slid like one, two, three, and then I went to wipe the sink from my hair, and I just saw like a whole line of red. I looked at my thumb, it was just all red. At least the buffs don't matter on that. I can get this trade. Might have to be a Nomelia, right? Is there a way Nomelia can full clear? What if I freeze right and wait one for Nomelia? Maybe that's better. I think it is. You do this. And this. Yeah, I could have used it to kill the 8-8, eight, eight, but I'm, I'm gonna greed one. Well then. I have three minions, but they have rush. Greed. I mean my my play does not impact what just happened on this stand though, right? The culprit was not tiny. Irrespective of whether they had the braggart or not. 
Actually, it's better for me because now I get to kill the braggart without them being able to attack. <laughs> yeah, in perspective, though, right? Shroom skin eight. Begin. Okay, the snowmelia. The snowmelia needs to freaking carry. So let's think about it. If I know Melia into this, this goes down to nine. Yeah, I can clean up here. Alright, what do you do now? Pally? What do you do now? Been seen? They're thinking about it! Right here, buddy! Buddy old pal, right here! <laughs> By the holy light! <laughs> I was clicking, you heard me, Blaze. Eh? Don't pull the dreads and misclick. Live it. Oh my god, that's true, fellow. They could have the lethal. Well played, I can know. The victory is yours. I accidentally threw a 20 minute game the other day by mix misclicking in turn. Oh, that I have done, Bray. That I have done. Right? And uh, I've clicked it by mistake, and sometimes I've also brain farted into clicking it. Like, you'll be thinking, you go, okay, you play the 1, the 4, then the 3, then you end turn. Alright. Sweet, let's go, end turn. Oh, wait, I forgot to play the cards. I've done that during stream. <laughs> it's a rarity, but I have. No me as good, yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll keep this hand. This is not the hunter we lost to. But let's see if it's similar. I wanna... Hmm. Brass swing isn't what I want here. I want rushies, right? I could have chucked these two. Yeah, like curve is important. Yeah, it did pay off, fellow. The reason I liked it... Man, picking up... Picking up late game minion and spell is actually really rough with this keep. I also wanted to hit a 2 so I can play this into coin virtue and then get this buffed. But, we'll see. My opponent also full kept. Um... Because this brass wing might be too little too late. I don't care about buffing it. So what I really, really want to hit is some uh, interesting... Isn't that usually hidden meaning? That's a much better minion. It looks like the secret helper is updated. Somehow rat traps already tested though. I mean... Okay. That feels like a weird play to me. Maybe they just don't have another play. When I had a monitor at queue again, get distracted with Twitch, and then go back. I have to punch, right guys? too good. It's just too good. I can't afford to not. Hey, funders! So the question now is, do I get the painter's virtue rolling, or do I just play ghost right there? I 
have a good one, Lana. No, the hounds don't stack, but they help each other, Dave, because you have you're using up the board space. How's your driving lesson today, my fundy? How be they? I'm good. I actually got my uh Penny finally. Yeah, don't worry, it's fine. How did you know? Uh, it's normal, you have it on Monday, no, my Monday. The wording is confusing though. Summon 611 hounds, any that can't fit give the others plus one plus one. I always assumed it was the others from the spell, but... Uh, I so I mistakenly assumed it was always uh, always Monday. <laughs> Lebeda Antonina, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you, you have a date for the test or something? Hmm. Gives them the trade here, which makes me wish I traded, but we'll take it. So this is where it gets awkward because now I want a painter's virtue still, but. Doesn't really work for me, huh? Trade pre hit this with painter's virtue hero power. Maybe I Kaleidosaur instead. This Kaleidosaur could hit a really nice one. And if I whiff, I hero power. Like, the pre-hit with the rush is good. Mm. I could keep it and hero power, do it with the painter's virtue, but I might want to go 4-3, because this is going to buff their stuff now, but I, I have a judge unworthy. Both of us seem to be playing an awkward game here. Good luck, though, Mafundi. Hope it goes well for you. Does it work like Trial by Fire? Mm, it's different. I see Rampage is just summon six minions, five... Summon either six one ones, five two twos, four three threes, right? Three four fours, two five fives, or a six six. Depending. I think you just take the five damage. I guess I can just take the three equally, right? Chamber. Right, this is where we swing the game. And now actually Brasswing is gonna have an impact. You excited for Mech Hound Hunter here? So in, in Constructed, can't you play like Patchwork Pals, RC Hounds or whatever, um, with Jungle Gym, the location, and that animal companion thing that adapts all your beasts? Like, couldn't you like swarm board so quickly with that? How many painters rages are too many? Four, probably, I would say. Not mm. That actually kicks my play a little bit. Hey, negative one. Timber. Interesting. So now it feels like a bait and switch, so maybe I throw Daring Drake in. It's freezing again. Okay. It doesn't matter though, right? Because a 4 mana 2 3 lifesteal that gives even 1 minion plus 1 plus 1 is still good, Pistol Pete, but I know what you mean. The thing is, I would take more than 2 only for consistency of draw and not for using them. Does that make sense? I'm just scared of weapon into buff and token with IC Rampage. Fair, fair, fair. Um, because I think, I think 3 is too much to use in the same game. Because then you're, you're you're saying, let's say you equip the first one, turn three with a coin. Right, let's say, that's the earliest you can equip it, right? So then you're swinging for nine turns, which means the game is going until turn 12, and you're spending 
12 mana on weapons is a lot. Two should be more than enough for a game plan. Um, but having three makes it more likely that you will play one on four. Uh, thank you for the follow, Trample. Welcome. Man, you have our full keep here. Uh, I'm tempted to full keep. Like, these are great threes to coin out. Having the one is just fine. No Melia is no Melia. I would love Painter's Virtue instead of no Melia or Painter's Virtue instead of this. But there's more cards that I can whiff with than hit. So these two I want to keep. These two I would rather have Painter's Virtue, Aldor Attendant, for example, Plushy. But that means that most of my deck is worse, so I'll keep them. I have three. One of my games I full mulled into all three. Yeah, that's unlucky though. The odds of that are super low, right, Pistol Pete? Damn. Makes my shard worse. This is where it gets awkward. I think I still risk the trade into it. How good is this legendary? It's a very good clear, Danlin, I would say. You can almost consider it like double judge unworthy level. Test. So this will become a 4-2. I think I risk it. Sucks, but I think I risk it. Because then I, if I go face, it's awkward. Yeah. I was going to dust there, but if I dust there, I thought they're just secret again. So we'll take this. Now I can still play through um, another bait and switch, so let's see how they trade. If they trade with this, I assume they have no more secret. They have more? They have no more secrets anyway. I think we start with this. So now I probably want to test face. Hmm. Snipe, zombies! I didn't mean it. Oh, this could be awkward for no Melia. Okay, there's a, a question. If I no Melia rush into this and kill it, does the death rattle trigger? It's definitely worse for him than you, you think? Takes their buzzer though. I don't really care about the buzzer right now though. No, it's though Mia dies first, does it? I don't know. I think they both die, but it, it remains alive but dead, I think. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm scared of. I think I can afford this. Ooh. This. Although. Double three if I don't know Melia. I'm trying out of stuff now, you know? No, me, I just might not be good enough. Another secret. 
Damn. This is awkward. Like, I could no melee armed hit here for the clear of its bait and switch. Discovered secret, so it's any secret. It's fine if it's snipe. If it's freezing, though, GG, right? So I guess I just play these two. Heal. I might die. I'm testing it. Hey, Skelly, bro. I want a better Nomelia. Um, and I also need to test for the secret. Unfortunately, their positioning means I can't no media clear. Oh. Hmm. I know, but I don't know where else to put it, Mafundi. I know it blocks their weapon. The deck tracker shows that their secret is bait and switch. No, it doesn't. It shows that it's any secret, right? Here is sure. They had a bait and switch in their deck, but... be a tough one. There maybe. But then there's these. Oh on the overlay? Yeah it's a bug then. No idea what the secret is. I'm I'm just dead, right? Like do I ever risk ghost right there here? Yeah, I, I could have played the mini boo bull and clear the first half. Um, but then I can't play anything else, which makes my turn so much worse. It's not worth it. I think I have to do this, even though I might die. I know I might just be dead. I have to take the risk, I think. If I play this, they just kill it. And they push the damage again. It's literally just stalling my loss. But finding something huge from this, it could just be the, the line, you know? I wish I had uh, something that lets me flush here or whatever. Play two of them, come on. Duty. 
But thanks to Prime. Wait, what do you mean gun? Them? Well, this doesn't go to the bottom in Daikin, so nothing guarantees it, right? Maybe I okay and just feel so much worse, especially when I know they have three one ones. That costs four mana to make it lifesteal. Well yeah, so there's a world where I watch her, but I think it just has to be this. That could be a face one still, right? Pistol. They might want to trade with the poison. What hero power instead of the one one? Maybe that was better, Mago. I felt like the one heal is important, but that would have stopped the that would have stopped the that thing, right? Motion denied, so maybe. Maybe right straight up. So let's say I did that. I would have a plushie here. It wouldn't really make a difference. Yeah. I mean, strong deck with high rolls. And uh, again, both both of the strong decks with high rolls I faced, I uh, I kind of whiffed on draw a little bit for this deck. GD. Not much you can do. You just take it and move the heck on. Yeah, they got so much value and tempo from that three mana card and weapon, for example, right? You have 12 old dogs, that's this mana or ever? Ever, yes. I think I only keep greedy partner. We look for better things. Not a big fan of the shard early as much. Going second. Ah, uh, but not on the same server, I don't, hubby, but I don't really chase them. Not really something I care about so much. Not a very good hand at this point in time. Acceptable though. I just don't like having Brasswing and Judge early. <sighs> what if I hero power? Now you do this, right? Then you coin the painters. Let them hero power hit. Painters this. And they can do the double plushy play. The culprit was not tidy. Um Let's hit this way. What up to the junkie? Gives me the plushy play now. Annoying. Do I want to do the double plushy play now? I could, right? Swing, uh, sorry, play plushy, hit here, swing face, play a 2-2. Two, two. I really want to keep buff buffing the plushy, but... 
My other plays don't feel as good as this, right? This kind of plays around the skelly, heals me back. Sure, I, I don't end up with as good of a plushie, but feels like the better line anyway. Hey, cheers, Ship. I hope you have a great day at work, man. So we're looking for Hand of Adult plus a 3 now. Okay, I'll take that. Probably we double trade into this and maybe just play the 5 now. It's not the best, but... At least if they will, ah, they can hero power with the wolves now. Ah, that makes it a little different. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Jerk, I've played this thing if you're here plus worth I don't care about that. Or we even just completely ignore it. <coughs> okay. I think we go double three and try and push the seven face. I'll uh, start with this, see what we get. Ooh! Nice. He's clearing up for the outcast, could be. But now if they go for the six, they're behind. The most thing I'm, I'm worried about is the, the combustion-esque one with lifesteal. Like if I do this and it whiffs, I think I clean up. I want to craft this, but Judge Unworthy is probably more worth it, right? Let me think. Draw first. Because oh, I could kill with the minions and play crafter Zora, but I want to push damage. So much damage, right? Like, they're almost dead. Hey, Nero. I'm 6 OD round. I face 6 hunters in a row. Perfect. Your deck's destroying them. Yeah, I mean, people have this idea, can you, that if you have random letters, you have obviously the best deck. I've seen people that don't retire have way better decks and surely play better. The truth is, if you're playing Demon Hunter or Hunter, your deck is good. You don't need to retire 50 times to get a good deck. Your deck is good. F full stop. Like, you just can't even, you can barely draft a bad deck for those classes. Build you up and knock you down. You have our full keep here. Like, didn't I not, not face someone called Darren earlier? And Darren had a 7 buzzer deck. You underestimate my bitch draft a bad deck. So he's the guy who usually keeps one of the most OP decks for rotation. <coughs> I wish those I could add for Magnum Condoms. Man, as a group, we are absolute chads, yeah. It's just that I buy them so much, Phil, that they just push ads to my community, right? It is possible, Flurry, but it's bo both ways, right? It is and it isn't. I think I keep. Um, random letters are just bought accounts. 
some people bought them to play legitimately some people bought them because their their servers their accounts got deleted with the server shut down some people buy them to spam retire and cheat for sure they all of those things exist I, must move quickly. I feel like the death rattle is better versus a hunter I bet it is possible for sure This one eating party snacks. <laughs> I think I actually play peasant, even though I won the coin. This works better on this board, right? Although the coin will really help for later. If I play partner, I'm just gonna double value trade. I think you just do this. There's news about Blizzard coming back to China soon, that would be nice. Yeah, I heard that actually. Damn. What do you think they're gonna hit me with here? A bait and switch. Please help me! Hope you don't have two left me! Is it just me or are the secrets huge? Okay, I didn't want to go face because of uh, flame ward and such. Had nines, DK meant zero hunter is very nice. Give me cons here, let's go. So let's say it's bait and switch. It means I'd have to double trade into the same one. Thing is, if I belt chair, they, they just get to clean up so well, right? Freeze the buffed beam, but I still have to throw something into it. And then the rest of my turn still sucks. It's probably the line though, right? Because I need I need to test for it. So let's me do this. I guess I could just kill it off anyway though. You know what? I just have to, I have to get through that secret at some point. How can I help you? It's fine. Honestly, that's kind of fine. Frenzied Fang. Don't care about that. There's cons. How about this? Is this worth a consecrate? Maybe. They also freeze and leave them in the same position. Wait for this to hit, then do this. Uh. I'm gonna leave them in the same position and... Uh, I could take this trade, but I'm just going face. The idea is I set up uh, an Azure Cons on the turn this popped, so I go Crafters into Azure Cons. And they couldn't kill this last turn with the double trade, so freezing this leaves them in the same position. Now I might take a value trade or something. Defrost. Good hit. Hey, damn crit. Why didn't I get another card from Banker? Because I'm pushing a better win con. I don't care if they draw cards if I win. Oh, 
I don't even know if I want to double trade, but I think I do now. So what's inside this? Go to this side there. Let them frenzied fangs, right? These two are going first. These three are going first. Nice, sure. Should be careful not to freely infuse their bats. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Odie, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> no, I'd rather have fun, but... Uh, it's all about perspective. If you think I'm not having fun and uh, try-harding by, you know, mostly playing priests and mages... Enjoy your own perspective. What can I say? I can't change your mind, right? That's Rafa Vanovich, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't care. I don't wanna I don't give them the extra infuse and pure, but they they're gonna die anyway, so I don't care too much. They should be able to get the infuse, but I think they're just leaving. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. Do you think Librams would work in Arena? Yeah, if you get the... I think the plus one, plus one buff one. Especially if you get it down to zero. It's pretty solid, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright. They just gave up. Eleven! Another eleven class! Can we make it a twelve, though? I swear, I already have most classes at 11 wins. This has been the meta where it's the first time that my most common score is 11. Usually, usually I get a lot more 10s and 12s than 11s. Meanwhile, I'm struggling with my 2 in average. It's probably things you can do in every aspect of the game to improve if you are actually at a 2 in average. Thank you, Alethius. This is my first pally, yeah, right? First pally. I wasn't offered pally yet, so this is the last class that I haven't tried pally right here. Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick and uh, queue it up. Let's go. Ready, set. Rage final boss. Easy game. Ones. I feel like I keep like this. Cool goal is just good. I know these are threes and fours, but I feel like I need better cards. I'm gonna try this. This is a one two coin four play anyway. Brasswing ain't that good. Mooncatcher is acceptable. Let me keep coin. I mean, Brasswing is great, but I don't like it in my early game hand, if that makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. Hail there, settler. I'm actually thinking about Doomsayer. I probably will be ahead next turn. And that's only next turn I'd think about it, so I think I just go direwood. Like, if they hero power here, is Doomsayer really that good? 
Yeah, so this is where Doom's hair might have been interesting, right? But... Hey, Zick, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Zick. I, uh... I never like it so much the first day after, but... Okay, we'll play Duster here, especially right after they play the spell. Two spells, in fact. Three. Did they coin? No, I have four. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. So the issue here is these ones are really good versus my plays. So what if I set up on Craft Zora for next turn? I think that's the line, right? You do this, this, this. And then we just coin coin crafters. I could also play something else into coin coin brass wing. Hey Dealy, final boss, yeah. Ah, uh, this summons a six drop three turns in a row. So that they could do is double hit here and try this trade. Seems bust It's kind of a little bit slow though, right? Remember? Like on turn, imagine spending your turn seven summoning a random six. You're usually dead if you do, right? It's just if you can be ahead for it, it, it does help. A uh, coining it out on five also helps, right? Remorseless. Huh? How about oh. A new, how about a new life? Mm. Maybe I do wait for the brass swing now. Interesting. Damn. Yeah, this is like, for example, here. This ain't working. Yeah, Lyra, they got that uh, score like three days ago or four, I think. Yeah, I think I want to get the brass swing out early instead. Playing crafters or into a five on the four four, isn't it? I think we do this. Yeah, I, I believe it, honestly. You give any any really good player thirty hunters and demon hunters in a row, and. Uh, some people play like seven runs a day, right? I think it was... Maybe it was Saturday? I feel like it was Friday though, L Lyra. Crafters are... No, 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 Droopy. The, the, the thing stacking like in Dark and Saying isn't a bug. Aura stacking is a new thing. The bug was that Crafters Aura sometimes doesn't summon the third minion. As in, I believed it was possible before I saw the number. Now, obviously, I believe it. Yeah, Lyra. <laughs> okay. Am I dead? Not yet. Not close. I might just be dead and we're going 11 again here. Brain is fried, I was speed trying to finish rewards on two accounts, three servers. Oh my god, Dealy. <laughs> yeah, they probably just have two damage, right? Wonder how it turns out we take Doomsayer. Maybe it was correct, right? Because of the mining casualties, Mafundi. Right. I can't even top deck lethal. It has to be like hand of a dial into cons after they go face. Maybe I can craft Azora into like a taunt. Maybe I can top deck more heal. Army of the dead. Interesting. They, sh they shouldn't trade, right? 
they should leave them all up. That would have really helped me, right? Yeah, they don't even give me minions to heal into. So it has to be this into taunt. Or lifesteal. Does it mean I reset tomorrow? No, we already got the reset last week, spicy sriracha. Yeah, even lifesteal doesn't work. It has to be taunt. GG. Cho'Gal is a six. Muncher is as well. Too much pressure early. Why didn't I get a random dragon? Huh? No? Yeah, it was just too much pressure early, right? Like I said, Brasswing in the opening hand wasn't so good. The 4-4 the four, four rush was really good versus my stuff. I tried to come back, but it was just too little too late. If it was Bronze Explorer, Bronze Explorer doesn't save me, right? Oscar man, thank you for the follow. All right, well, the 11 curse continues. I mean, that's a good curse to have, though, to be honest. But uh, I'd really like to close out some 12s. I think 11 for this deck is quite good. I think it's a solid pally, but uh, I don't think it's a premium pally either. I mean, I don't know. Maybe my bar for a premium is high. It's just... It's like most pallies I face are better than this. But I know I will face on average good decks, right? Because of high scores. MVP? Probably Painter's Virtue. I think uh, premium parts of this were uh, Curve, uh, Cool Ghoul, Painter's Virtue kind of combos with a uh, nice faceless rush. Nomelia did a uh, did nice job in, in two, two games for sure, but in more, I think. Never heard you say I have a premium deck, though. I do say I have a premium deck when I have a premium deck, though. It's always a uh, small sample size selective bias, right? So I tell people. If you only listen to when I say I'm unlucky, then I'm always unlucky. If you only listen to when I say I'm lucky, then I'm always lucky. Good stuff, though. Alright, 11 check out the rewards. We get a nice uh, pally up on YouTube as well. You know, keep... Uh, Balls of Jordan in the YouTube going, oh my god, they're going 12? Nope, 11. <laughs> um, if you are watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, another class. Uh, this was my first pally, so I'm kind of happy with the result. I was just taking a look at the deck a little bit there. I hope you enjoyed it. Do like the video if you did. Do sub to the channel if you want to see some more runs from this meta. And thank you all for watching.